Here we are. Here yes. we are. Here we are. I am totally, really happy to have the beautiful Elisa van der Meijden. And <laughs> Jelle de Jong, of course. <laughs> Jelle de Jong. Applauso. Hello. Bravo. From, from the Stardust. Yes. Production company, entertainment company, everything down at Europe Park. You're the first visitor uh -oh. for a long time. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm breaking the place. I up. think it's going bananas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the What's studio it? is going bananas. What's happening here, Ian? Oh, it's it's crazy. You know, this is the first uh, first get first guests that I've had for since the park, and the park is open. Yeah. which is amazing. We are so grateful that, and, and you come down at the best time. Everyone's here and excited. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Doing wonderful. Yeah, it's, yes. it's, it's, uh, it's, it's very nice to be back in, a, yeah. in Europa Park, to see yeah. you all again and to see the people enjoy life again and slowly getting back to normal, slowly feeling life is starting, shows are starting, pre-production is starting. So getting Watching back to- Watching the shows uh, here as yeah. well. How yeah. do you think that's going to go, this getting back to? Because we are, we are um, a test event to see that we, we can operate a, a, a big event with lots of people with the, uh, with the pandemic restrictions easing. How do you think it's going to go? The, 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 you know, the show business in our, in our world, how's, how's it going to rebound? Yeah, hopefully it will just uh, bounce back as normally, as quick as possible, of course, because we uh, have our uh, dinner show, of course, this summer coming. Um, uh, well, Where? In Amsterdam. Yeah? Yes. A sexy, edgy dinner show. Sexy, edgy. Yeah. Is, uh, okay, we can say it on this show. We can say sexy, edgy. Yeah. Sexy, edgy is yeah. allowed? Yeah. yeah. No, that's nice. <laughs> and and that's, that's when, then? Uh, it's starting 30 of July. Mm -hmm. in Amsterdam, in the old stock market, and it's with a lovely leading lady, singer, uh, dancer, circus acts, and it's literally, yeah, uh, the best next thing you can do besides of going out to a club. So what's that? Your product from the pandemic? Yeah, that this that's is what, uh, yeah. And it's called? Femme Fatale. Femme Fatale. Femme yeah. Fatale, yeah. Uh, French. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. The ode to, the, to all... Um, beautiful sides of women and we have uh, women in the band, live musicians of course, beautiful dancing crew and um, we, we uh, worked on this, this idea, this show, this concept already a, a longer time. But actually in the, in the last few years there was so much going on with, the, with the, all the shows we're producing that there was not enough time to really develop it and now COVID gave us the chance to put full development on this project. And we found a, a great venue in the in the right in the city center of Amsterdam in the would, very heart. Would you have got that venue if it wasn't for the pandemic? No, no. probably not. Yeah. Uh, not so. Uh, we are very very lucky to also have created chances because of COVID. Right. And now uh, in uh, just a little over five six weeks, we're gonna open and we're gonna do a five week exclusive run. 41 shows and uh, we hope to sell out as soon as possible and go back to life. Is and this then... the first dinner show for Stardust? Yes. yes. Definitely. Cool, because yes. I mean, you're, you're And the world first sexy, famous. sexy show. <laughs> uh, but you are world famous for most certainly the winter circuses. You, are, you own it. You own that uh, industry, the winter circuses. Um, but now you're branching out into dinner shows, but still using your, because I, I know you, for many, many years yeah. on every circus festival. You're on the jury of every single one. Uh, massive supporter of every uh, festival, but you're gonna use all of that for your dinner shows as well. Bring all those artists that you see, yes, but slightly different, not the big troops. No, 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 not the big troops. And like we said, we want not to have like a normal dinner show uh, like a Palazzo, which is also really nice, of course but we want to have it more uh, edgy and in a sexy kind of way. So we are looking into acts that can fill that kind of atmosphere into the show. Yeah, cool. And, yeah. And, and putting in the, of course, the live musicians combined with this crazy singer. She's called Kimberly Nicole. She has an amazing voice and she's yeah, like uh, people are already uh, on, on, the, on their chairs after the first song, you know. And she so, moderates as well. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that's in English then? Yes, yes. Because she's American, did you say? Yeah, she comes from right. America. She lives in yeah. London. And she used to be the MC of the box, the nightclub in London. So mm -hmm. she really knows how to hype up the people. Definitely known for yeah. AG. 
yeah. controversial yeah. as well yes. now. So and 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 uh, Holland is is ready for something like this. You know, we we haven't got that. It hasn't been like more conservative dinner shows. Yeah. So this kind of with a new um, also a new market for you know you have the classical families that visit the classical circuses, but this is more this group between twenty and 40, 45 that want to go out, have great food, uh, cocktail bar, champagne, and have a have a great night out. So that's what we're aiming for. Cool. So so you're you're going to be working on that all summer, but actually once that's up and open, you're going to be planning all the circuses this winter. Yes, like normally, like yeah. it's now already you know planning. Uh, like it started uh, already, like from January on. We just have a positive mind and we think we can produce the circus in Amsterdam and in Stuttgart, hopefully. Mm. And um, we can go ahead with uh, finally bring back the Christmas spirit in Amsterdam and Stuttgart. Yeah, brilliant. Well, that's that's what you're known for now. Yeah. I've seen both both your shows in Stuttgart and in Amsterdam. And they're well, the highest quality of circus that you could uh, you could wish for. And we but, aim for it every year. Yeah, but I uh, mean, what... Uh, is Stuttgart's 30 years, is it 30 years old or, so, or do you have the 25? No, oh. it's 27 if I'm yeah. correct. Right, yeah, I remember the 25 anniversary. Yeah. And Amsterdam 36 coming May now? 37. 37 yeah. even. So you've got to get back this year because it's, yeah. be, yeah. it's, it's got to be on everybody's Christmas list. Yeah. Yes. Go to see Stuttgart or go to see Carrey in Amsterdam. Of course, and it's part so of the Christmas tradition. Got to you keep know? that on their agenda. Yeah, yeah. Because, definitely. Uh, because like, like we were talking the other day that that you, you're, because you're so so long running that people are people saw it as children and now they're bringing their kids and maybe there's grandkids that uh, coming with the grandparents that saw your shows years ago and they know it's probably the best the best Christmas entertainment there is. Yeah, yeah, they. It's yeah becoming part of their Christmas. You know, for a lot of families, they say when I speak to them, for example, in Amsterdam. For me, the Christmas starts when we visit the circus in uh, Amsterdam in Carré. Yeah. And the same for in uh, Germany. But uh, Elisa, you're you're following in your parents' footsteps, right? It was your your father Hank, with your mother Monica that started all this, yeah. And then and then I I did a little bit um, a little bit of research, not mm. too much, because oh it's a bit God. spontaneous. What's going to happen here? here? <laughs> no, but I see that you've done a lot of TV presenting, oh God, and I just wonder terrible. I wonder uh, and and you Yella that you're. I know that you can't walk in Holland without people recognizing you from your acting job. Yes. And you're I so just... famous. <laughs> well, I know. I mean, but I just wonder, you're, you're a TV celebrity doing all your presenting. You're an actor, uh, very well known. How is it that um, now you are running Stardust between the two of you in your different roles? How's that being celebrities that people know you, maybe yourself, they know the characters more than yourself, right? That you've played. Uh, you know how you should see it. I think the, the the fact that we also operate in front of a camera or on the stage or wherever it makes us understand really good what an artist needs, what a production needs, what is comfortable in cooperating together towards having a great vibe, what would you give an artist to make him feel welcome, how do you reach the best uh, quality possible on the stage and that is by combining all those things so these other paths we walked in the past or still walking sometimes um, are a great asset to make the good shows so it is a it is a plus combining uh, with each other and, and that's the way you can yeah handle all aspects yeah, of I creating a show I've always thought if you get if you if you really appreciate your artist you can get anything from them yeah and if you don't you can get nothing mm -hmm. from them yeah. they're so exactly. uh, i don't want to say fragile but they they're obviously egotistical because they like being on stage themselves and being crazy and and yet if you've got that character which you both have totally extrovert and totally uh, theatrical then you're going to get the trust of your artist and then you're going to get everything out of them which maybe they didn't even know that was possible in the first place yeah very yeah. cool yeah very and cool. and uh, one of the big things I always learned uh, growing up uh, uh, with Elisa as friends from the start is um, how uh, Stardust treats the artists and uh, that is what's always very inspiring. Your father, mm -hmm. how he takes care about everybody, how his heart is there, Monica also, they are really 
fully with their hearts, their minds, with everything they put in the production. That's always the base of each new project and that gives so much love and it's beautiful how's to the, see. How's the transition of the, of the generations? How's, how's that? Because your father obviously did, he did it in a different time. Yes, definitely. You know, where there wasn't, uh, in the beginning, there wasn't internet, there wasn't telephones and all of this stuff. Now you can speak to anyone in the world at a push of a button. And your ideas are different because you're a creation of a different, uh, a different generation. Yeah. And how, how is it taking over? And then, as, as I've been speaking to you over, uh, over dinner yesterday, that your creative ideas are out there, that you want to and do some fantastic, fantastic events, which we can't talk about because yeah. they're, under, uh, they're, uh, they're under consideration. But how is that that you, obviously you're still very close in the company with your uh, mum and dad. How is it that they perceive what, what dreams that you two have? Well, sometimes it's very hard, of course, but uh, my parents are very open for new ideas. Uh, like for example, the dinner show is going to be my first own show uh, I do together with Jelle under the uh, Stardust company. But we also had to pitch our ID for the dinner show first time for my parents. Yeah. Right. It's not like I, uh, we're sitting down having dinner and I'm saying, you know, I want to do a sexy, edgy dinner show. Uh, can I please do it, mom and dad? You know, right. no, they are saying, OK, if you want to do it, uh, pitch it and then we can discuss uh, about it and think But your dad is a little girl, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so it's gonna happen. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, because... he, he also really has to feel uh, his uh, passion for it. Yeah. You know, it's not like uh, when I when I would go uh, say I will do, uh, I don't know, uh, a roller skate show or, <laughs> or something and he doesn't have like any affection with it. Then he would say, well, you have to, um, 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 uh, how do you say that? No. Uh, <laughs> I, can, I, I can't come up with a word, overtuigen. Ah, you have to convince me. You have to convince right. me um, yeah, yeah. that it's really working yeah. and let me see. And then we can have another talk about it and maybe we can do it. So he also really needs to feel the passion for it. Well, it's I not mean, like one, two, three, okay, you can do it. You got a great location. Yes. yes, fantastic it's, it's location. Amazing, yeah. The Beers from Berla. Yeah. You probably know every single artist in the world anyway, so you've chosen the best. Great location, great food. Yes, yes. we have a very nice uh, Seven Sins Seven Sins menu. Uh, beautiful food, also a vegetarian version, a vegan version. Uh, it's it's yeah, it's it's the best of the best food in a very how high long, end way to present it. How long? How long an evening is that going to be? How long? When? What? How long is it going to be like a tr traditional ger a German uh, four-hour dinner show it, or something? It's three hours. Right. It's a three-hour. We want to uh, make show. it more compact. Yeah. And, and also, it's not like we don't want to do like, uh, you know, uh, big steaks and potatoes and everything. All the bites are in a, yeah, uh, like hand, like finger food, yeah. but a little bit more, you know, it's, you can just yeah. have it right. uh, on good, your lap. A good gazpacho, a nice yeah. fish dish, there's a steak tartare, a veal, there's a pistache macaron with salmon. There's, it's a, it's a beautiful, a, a nice uh, cheese platter, there's a... A nice um, heart with uh, Bavarois. strawberries, Bavarois. so we really and there's a great uh, house champagne and there's a cocktail bar. So I think it's very cool because when it's your first, like you say, it's your first show that it's your baby. Yes. And then you can do all the things that you dreamt about mm -hmm. and, and that they all come back. And then you can just, I, I'm 100% sure it's going to totally succeed. I think I it's, hope so. I think it's honestly, sometimes I think it's hard to top. Because now you've got all these years of having seen everything, uh, been to every festival, been to every show, and you've taken inspiration and, or you've been excited, you, you've accumulated this energy. And then it's hard to uh, top a little bit because everything that, that you've wanted to do is going to be done in Amsterdam this summer. <laughs> Yeah. So, you're, you're very welcome. welcome, and everybody's yeah. very welcome to, to visit yes. the show. I'm trying to speak Book now. Book your tickets now. On www.femfatalsirk.nl We also have a .com uh, yeah. URL, so okay. everybody can book their tickets. All right, I'll get the media guys to uh, stamp <laughs> Swipe up and book your tickets now. But um, um, So, there's circus, there's dinner show. What, um, 
what excites you when you go because you've seen every show you've seen Cirque, Cirque uh, du Soleil and you've seen um, traditional circus you've seen every every stage show there is what excites you what where what gives you the that's what I really want to see or or I want to create apart from the dinner show moving mm -hmm. forward because no, I've got a feeling course. that you're not going to sit back and say yeah we've done something I think you're going to carry on Dreaming. No, I think what really excites me when I see, for example, an act that it's not only about the trick itself that it used to be in the past, really, you know, you did, uh, as a circus artist, you did your trick and, you know, you get the applause and that's it. But now uh, what really excites me that certain acts really tell, uh, tell a, a whole story, you know, if you have like a duo in the air, uh, it's becoming a life um, uh, with a man and a female falling in love uh, and it's getting a love story in the air and uh, has, a, has a beautiful feeling and then for me it's not only a circus act but then it comes yeah some kind of art for me yeah. because you're in this trance and then it's almost like looking at a painting of Vincent van Gogh for example right um, going back to circus uh, We've all we've all lost a lot of time in the last year or something. How how do you think that we have to change something to come back, or do you think that that we're just going to come back as we were the same, or do you think that you know I thought about all the Cir Cirque du Soleil's they all closed down yeah, and they're yeah. going to come back, and I thought are are the public maybe expecting something different now because everyone's gone through a COVID uh, reset. Yeah reset somehow and i just wonder whether the guest is saying now's the time to a maybe bring something that people don't expect to push uh evolution just a little bit yeah. further yeah it, it could be the moment for that to happen but i i first and mainly have the feeling that first of all everybody first wants to go back to what they were used to and feel comfortable with that again that's also why i have my hopes up very high that Christmas will be, if, eh, if the numbers keep going like this, that Christmas will be like it was two years ago, back to that. And when people can enjoy that feeling and embrace it again and feel safe again and enjoy culture and enjoy shows and embrace all the artists that were sitting at home for one and a half year and not being able to perform, not being able to maybe make money. Um, this moment, I think we go through first and then everybody will breathe in and then maybe the year after uh, there's room for a new new exciting yeah. things moving on I the stage. I guess you've got loads of fan mail now saying, where's your circus? We miss it and we miss it mm -hmm. now. How yes, many, how many people see uh, Stuttgart every year? <sighs> a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like yeah. in the, in the um, four and a half, five weeks it's playing, there's uh, over 125,000 visitors in uh, Stuttgart. So um, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. yeah. And every artist in the world. Yes. Yeah. 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 Every, every artist I know has been through a very serious challenge and uh, luckily, very luckily, that we're in Europa Park opening our shows. Yeah. Today we opened most of them. Yeah, congratulations. A couple of weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, totally happy and uh, uh, it's quite emotional because, you know, I saw one girl, come, we opened the show today and I saw one girl come waving and she was just waving like, hey, I'm survived, survived it. Yeah. I'm yeah. back on yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah where I belong. No. And the people seem to feel that. I, it, it's sort of, the, the, the applause wasn't more of an applause of, oh, welcome to the, uh, but it was more of a, we're happy to see you because she's been with us for years and she's like, I'm still here and I'm back in the business. Yeah. But there must be so many artists around the world. I guess you stay obviously in contact with a lot mm -hmm. of people that you communicate with now. Yes, definitely. Yeah, we're very close with the Knees, of course, for example. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I think for the artists, it's so important to perform again. And luckily, they can perform now here in Europa Park. Mm -hmm. But I think it's so special for them to see the smiles on the faces of the audience and hear the applause. It gives them so much energy. Yeah, the, the audience, you can see that, I mean, with opening and uh, I was on the park two days before we opened and um, we got the call, we're opening and you could see uh, over the last six months, we've had several people working here all the yeah. time, maintaining, doing what we need to do. But when we got the call, we're opening, um, everybody's energy was completely 
changed. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. whole world changed. Everyone was working as a team together. We've got to take care of everything. The gardeners were everywhere, the cleaners, the painters, and, and, and everything. And it's just everyone is just a completely different person. Yeah. You know, just uh, finally we're, we're doing what we love. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember in the, um, after the first lockdown in Holland, we had a, a period, probably it was here the same then, that everything reopened again. And then afterwards it got closed again. But in that moment that it opened again, theaters opened in Holland for maximum of 30 people, not even um, counting the square meters or the seats, but 30 people. And I went to a show and it was no live entertainment that I saw for five months. And then just <laughs> the little light moving <laughs> by the start of the show was already touching me because I thought, okay, it's uh, we're really back and it's happening. And then the, the guitar player started to play and then somebody started to sing. And it, it was very simple and not that the best performance I ever saw, but it moved me to my deep core because that's what we're all doing. That's what we're all chasing. And that's what we're all hoping for to always bring to the audience. So the uh, moment you can have you been, it. Um, what's your, your, other career, your acting career, you've been, uh, how's that been during this no, whole time? I'm, I was doing a show called uh, Soldier of Orange. It's a big musical uh, piece about the Second World War. It's already 10 years selling out in Holland every night, 1100 seats, more than three and a half million people saw it. So it's one of the biggest theater hits in Europe. It's from a Dutch producer. And I was doing a part in that show and it got very close. Very big part. Yeah. And he did an amazing job. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's a very nice uh, special show to do. It's iconic for the Dutch history and it's with singing and uh, beautiful. It has a theater that where the audience is on a 360 degrees turning table and it goes around all the sets and there's a um, like a, there's a piece of the of the North Sea with the beach and there's real water and we go in a boat and we collapse and we go under the water and there's quick changes there's motorcycles driving around it's very spectacular but this show was closed down and then at some point um, they could open up for 250 people and we opened up again and after four weeks again got closed down so but it was 85 people on that show working everybody still getting on their contract everybody trying to rehearse their songs their their text uh, to d do changes we had to make changes due to the covid so the kissing yeah. scenes were taken out and everybody had to get tested every and day put in you know. for top sorry the kissing scenes got taken out but they're going to be put in for time right uh, Definitely. Yeah, I, did we say did so. we say the website for that <laughs> ah, no, we forgot to, to yes. mention the website, we actually. What is the website again? I think we forgot to push yes, that. www.femfatalcirc.nl <laughs> Swipe up, swipe up and book your tickets now, but probably you're too late because it's already sold yeah. out. That would be great. Yeah, but you'll make more, uh, you'll find a way. Yeah. Can you extend? Uh, yes. yes, we can extend and we can... And uh, we have an option for the Christmas. Yeah, and we have, uh, which is very nice, we have an... Um, oh, that would be busy for you if you're doing Stuttgart, yes. Carrie, yes. and if you extend it into Christmas. But busy Christmas. is good, you know. Yeah, busy is great. Yeah. Busy, you like busy. Yes, I like and busy. And you like busy also. We love busy. Yeah, that's so a, that's you're a, very welcome to be our guest. Cool. If, if I can find the time, which I will, yeah. then I will definitely come up. And yeah. let's get busy with us. Yeah, <laughs> that's also a good uh, yeah. title for an uh, Instagram campaign. Let's get busy. Let's yeah. get busy. Let's get yeah. femme fatale. But you two, you two. I mean, uh, you told me briefly. I mean, uh, somebody said, "Are they married? Are they brother and sister? <laughs> are they?" And 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 I don't want to tell the story because I don't know it well enough. But you have the best sort of relationship. Brilliant. You bounce off each other. You you complement each other. <laughs> Uh, you're beautiful on your own, as you can see by the pictures. You are. Yeah, the pictures are better. I'm, I'm totally <laughs> than in real life. No. I'm totally embarrassed. You are, it's the beautiful people yeah. show. This is the Photoshop. <laughs> Photoshop. <laughs> but um, but but how did this how did this happen? Because um, it's uh, you know I've known you for maybe one year less than I know Elisa, and you're you just Ying. You're you are you are perfect together. How did this? How do you know each other? Oh, we met each other through musical class. <laughs> she played a big dwarf and I was Peter Pan in, yeah. a, in a green tight. We're not allowed to say the word yes. dwarf. Yeah. I, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then uh, my parents were pr producing Annie the musical 
And uh, then uh, we hit it on. Uh, when we <laughs> we hit it on. on. No. We hit it on. No, that sounds know. weird. We hit it off. <laughs> no, no, no. Hit it on. no, no, no. But also, that's the wrong phrase. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, uh, you know what? We I connected. Mean, right? We, we became good friends. We became. What? What? How old are you at this point? Uh, it's like uh, 11. All right. Okay. Yeah. You were nine. And then I said, "Well, Yelle, would you like to come to see Annie?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, "Yes. Why not? Nice." Because you weren't shy then. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how our friendship actually started. And uh, yeah, we've been in con contact ever since. And there were some periods we didn't speak so much uh, with each other because we were busy with uh, different stuff. Uh, but we always. Yeah, um, still had contact, and yeah, he really feels for me like my big brother. I never mm -hmm. had uh, business-wise, but especially also emotional-wise. And uh, seems to be that uh, that all the time I've known you, that you weren't part of Stardust. Now you are. Since how long? Yeah, you know, it's like a natural way of growing in because from this moment we became friends. We also started to do promotional work for Henk and he said, guys, go put flyers in hotels. And then once I went to get coffee for everybody and then I slowly started to be assisting the company manager. And then I did the running and driving the main characters of the shows. And then I did a company management for Hans Klok. So it was always like, come and go, come and go, come and go. Yeah, and at some point, yeah, you have to uh, uh, get in the seat and yeah. start to drive. So uh, yeah. that's what we're doing now. Yeah, but I, I, I don't, uh, I, I feel, I'm totally filled with enthusiasm when I speak to you about your dreams and, and your drive mm -hmm. for what the future may hold. I think, uh, you know, pandemic or no pandemic, I feel that you're taking the reins and that you're so excited to push the entertainment out. But you're still going to be, um, Stardust did, um, did uh, Hans Clock for so many yes. years, right? You did the, uh, the Swan Lake? Biggest yeah. Swan Lake in the you're world. Still, are you still, uh, because yeah. I, yeah, I didn't it's, get a chance to see that. It's on the menu to come back. Yeah. yeah. But that's going to come back? Yeah. yeah. But, but in 2023. And yeah. is that just in Holland or is that uh, European? We're, tour? we're looking into which tour we're going to make at the moment. So the, the, the list is soon to be on the website. But, how but many, definitely uh, Holland. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. website? Uh, www.stardustcircus.com. No, but um, what? Um, how many? How many? Uh, how many? Bec I think I asked you when I was uh, in Holland a couple of years ago. How many shows do you promote or uh, produce each year? We're, we're talking about the the uh, the or how many events? Different events, whether it's clock or whether it's Swan Lake or whether it's circus. Yeah, it really uh, depends which kind of year. But yeah. you do smaller. You do smaller uh, music bands as well now. No, no, no. It's only all those posters that I saw. That so. yeah, that's from the past. So that's okay. how Hank also did a lot of classical concerts. Mm -hmm. He produced CDs. He had his own TV show. He, of course, that's Hank was the the most famous and the most well known journalist of Holland, writing about showbiz and entertainment. I, he really uh, started that, and that is uh, Hank yeah. Maiden, yeah, um, known as the Godfather yeah. of Dutch gossip journalism. Yeah, yeah. I read that in the internet somewhere, but uh, from the stories that you've told me or I've read or something, Hank was um, a magnificent marketeer now. Yeah. That would always surprise the people. You tell me the story about the sea lions in the... Uh, yeah. In yeah. the canals. Yeah, in, in the, the canals. canals. In I, I tried to tell somebody that today, but I wasn't oh, quite yeah. sure about the... Uh, yeah. about, wasn't, were were they complaining about the sea no, lions? No, no, no. It, it was, Duce uh, was uh, in the circus and the sea lions were in their big bassin. Uh, as you know, always the animals, when they are there, uh, get treated like the very best. So there was built a big swimming pool, but Carré is at the water, is at the canal. So Hank say, guys, maybe it's a very good idea to make a little... Uh, dive into the Amstel, into the water. So he went with a little motorboat and some paparazzi and a camera crew and let the, let the sea lions jump right in front of the theater. It was a shot and it was on every newspaper the next day and all shows were sold out. But all this, yeah, Hank has a really, and also now with the, with the upcoming show, he's so great in thinking about how to market it, how to sell it, how to present it. It's, uh, yeah, that's, that's not amazing. That's not education, that's his soul. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. How he can touch the people and create this buzz. Yeah. Which, uh, 
well, that's why you're so, uh, that's why you've got such a great established company. Start a circus uh, dinner show. What's, what's, what's more in the back of your mind? Yeah, I really want to get into that. Yeah. I want to do that. Now, there, there's a lot being developed at the moment, we can say. It's, um, um, we're not going to spill the juice yet. But um, there are several projects, and it's uh, not only in Holland. It's uh, very international, so it's and it's it's big open-end productions, um, which will be announced soon. Uh, I, I think uh, by the end of the year, it will be all out in the open. So creatively, do you two get on creatively? Do you <laughs> do you complement each other, or do you have opposing ideas, and then you fight it out, or or find a better uh, better way? Now, I think creatively we're on the same level most of the times, but no. we're not afraid if, uh, you know, we not agree to not speak up, for example. No. There's no, there, it, I, I always say to my people, you know, I'm going to say something stupid here, knowing that it's impossible or it uh, won't work, but it might jolt somebody's uh, idea into something else, which wouldn't have come had you not said anything. Yeah. And I think that's cool when you get in brainstorming things yeah. that you do just empty, empty yeah. your head. And, and maybe it's maybe you already know when you say it, it's not going to happen. Well, no, but the but good thing is, so we, uh, we can have uh, own opinions, but it's never black and white. So it's never that Elisa says that and I really don't agree and you have a fight or really argument. We are only always like uh, tennising with the ideas and the idea where the seed is similar. Mm. Uh, grows in a very good way because it only gets better with the critique from each other and the best idea wins in the end and that's how we but, always do it uh, you're, you're never planning on um, uh, you know we know we know uh, a very good friend of ours uh, Gregory comes on stage at the end of the show and says thanks for coming and he's he's well known in Switzerland yeah. he's coming that. now He's not. Well, oh, sorry. So. No, but I'm, I'm just saying. You. But you're two celebrities in Holland. You're going to do a dinner show in Holland. How cool would it be at the end of the show to see the two people, yeah. two celebrities, <laughs> and, great for you. and the creators? And Jelle could even sing a song. You know, he has a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. Can you tell my uh, <laughs> my fiance that, please? Fiance. Yeah. Sorry. Fiance. Fiance. Um, are we allowed to talk about that? You can, of course. Does she know? <laughs> she don't know yet, but she will see it now. Hi, darling. We're getting married soon. Yeah. yeah. And to the lovely Julia. Julia Rashevkina. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful girl. I, I am very proud to say that she came and worked with us. Yes. Uh, what, three years, three, four years ago? Four, five years ago, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But uh, great performer. Yeah. Fantastic energy. Yeah. Fool. And you're getting married. Yes. When? Uh, in June. So that's in two weeks from now. Well, actually, uh, can, because this is going to go out oh, after yeah. that. So yeah. can you just say, yeah, we I just got, got married, married two weeks. Yeah. yeah, we just got married. And can yeah. you say, wow. how was Not your sure first... <laughs> can you Can you say yeah. how, how your first week of marriage was? Yes, of course. Can you say that yeah. now? Yeah. Yes, of course. So I got married last week and yeah. How, yeah. Did, how, was the, how was the wedding? <laughs> Yeah, how was it? <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't make it. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was cancelled, I didn't yeah. come. <laughs> yeah, the wedding was amazing and uh, I am very happy to be married now, finally. We had to wait a long time. We had to wait a long time from the permission with all the paperwork through Russia and the birth certificate and it's a whole story not interesting at all, but we went through a lot and now mm -hmm. uh, it's there. So You're a lucky man. I'm very, very lucky, very happy. She's a lucky girl. Thank you. Yeah. So where, I mean, uh, Elisa, that uh, you're taking over um, the reins of an amazing company. Um, what's, what's your driving force? Is it creatively? Of course, it's financial mm -hmm. because you've got workers working for you and, and you have to um, look after your ideas and your success will, will support them. What's the driving force for you? Well, creatively, I think uh, the most. And I always try, uh, I mean, I travel with Yellow also a lot uh, through the world to see new the uh, theater uh, stuff. Uh, we also really have a heart for immersive theater. So uh, I always try to go now. Of course, our main, uh, our main base is the circus, but I really want to continue with the company also in other and different ways, uh, not to not a tr uh, traditional ways like musicals or ballet or opera, 
uh, which are also great, of course. I mean, uh, we're very happy to bring back the greatest Swan Lake uh, in two years, but I really want to explore the side roads, you know, and uh, try to see what we can uh, produce uh, in that kind of uh, atmosphere and style. No, your parents must be really proud, actually, because you're you're totally uh, you love what you do, and yet you've got you've got your own mind, and you've really got a clear vision for for the company yourself, and they're supporting you to to go on to different things. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So how did you like it at Europa Park today? It Wonderful. Was, it was wow. Yeah. It, it was rain? amazing. It didn't rain. No, it didn't rain. It never rains in Europa <laughs> Park. People think that, but yeah. it doesn't Good rain answer. here. That's exactly. so nice. We're like a little bubble. Always yeah. sunny. We had great food. We had a fantastic show. We did the rides. You uh, saw the water park. It's only opened a couple of days ago. That's insane. Again, yes. reopened. But rather. we didn't. We didn't. It, I mean, it went over all our expectations. We saw it the last time it was still under construction. And now it's it's totally, everybody has to see it. It's beautifully. It's Every beautifully time done. I come here, I'm so impressed by the quality of the food, how it's looking. It's it's really unbelievable. It's, are we... Can we say that we're a little inspiration for you to, uh, on your on your travel into dinner shows? And yes, stuff? yeah, of definitely. course. Cool. Yeah. The, the dinner show we saw here in the past also were yeah, of great, great quality. And which is done. really, really great at uh, your dinner show that the food is also amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. from we're, such a good quality. We're lucky we've got great people. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. Know, I mean, you... Uh, you you can be as talented and as driven as you want, but you have to surround yourself with great people. Yeah. We're very yeah. lucky that everyone feels a part of it here, you know, and sort of a little self-ownership thing going on. Everyone, everyone will pick up the rubbish. You don't have to be a rubbish uh, person. You know, everyone will participate to try and make the product better for, yeah. for the people. Yeah, we're lucky. We're lucky yeah. with that. That's, that's been the uh, same for... 45 years yeah. that everyone feels a part of yeah. it. And I'm sure they do with Stardust. You're nearly that. Stardust is, how old is Stardust? <laughs> Stardust is <laughs> already born before I was born. Yeah. It's, uh, but it's, yeah, it started of course uh, slowly because my, like Jelle said before, my father was first a journalist and then because of his work, he started bringing the concerts and stuff because he got in contact with the, uh, with uh, André de Jeu, for example, uh, when he was writing an interview. And then he thought, he's such an amazing uh, magician, I should do a, a concert with him. So it happened, you know, step by step, and, it, and then it became bigger and bigger and bigger. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, great. You're, I mean, leading entertainment company in Holland, no? And, and you're touring mainly Europe. Yes. Do you have dreams of, uh, why don't we do that in world tour? Nah, you look at each other like, <laughs> no, 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 you've got that in our mind. <laughs> no, you know what it is. It. It's, it's already so exciting to work across Europe. But of course, it would be very nice to develop something new that's not there yet. That we would obviously always bring firstly on European soil. But if it might be a... a, a crazy good success it might go overseas you never know but it's not on our list that some show has to go uh, to america or asia i mean that's not a wish we want to make great entertainment for the people that we do it already long time for and that's the base you're not going to beijing Wuchao. soon Wuchao. but you Wuhan. know this world you know this part of the world you've been over there yeah we've been together yeah. there several yeah. times many, many times yeah. now yeah. Wuhan, You've the circus been there festival. As well in China. Every, every Chow. time I go to every show, you're always there on the jury. <laughs> but you can't speak much because you've always got the board and the sash and all of that stuff. You don't speak much then? No, <laughs> that's not true. I catch you in the bar now. Yeah. In the bar. Later for a drink. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But, hey, 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 I'm really happy. I'm really happy that uh, you had the time to come down and see us and on the park. We're open and uh, yeah, you're that's wonderful. Here. So I think we still have time to catch Silver Star. Yes. And after Silver Star, I want to see the Volatile and maybe Arthur one more time, and then have some great, great food. Maybe the Bell Rock, maybe the Tipidorf. The uh, Circus Bar. The Circus Bar. I want to see in the Andalus. 
circus bar. The yes. new Konasar how Hotel. How, how, how more appropriate could it be, the circus bar for you guys? Let's go there for yes. a drink now. Circus bar. Yes. Cir cir and circus bar for Ian, a drink. where can people buy tickets for Europa Park? What is the website? Um, they'll again? find their way, but I'm a little more concerned <laughs> that we haven't dropped your, uh, dropped your dinner show. What's it called? It was something to do with... Fatal something. <laughs> One more time. www.fanfatalcirc.nl I uh, thank you very much because you two are crazy and <laughs> and you give me energy and you fulfill every everything. So yeah. I just want to be I, I want, thank you very much for coming. You will come back. Definitely. Yes. You'll be a married man. I am already married. Oh, you are all married. Because hey, <laughs> I am already married. Yes, you are all married, but you'll be a married man. Yes. And uh, you are a married man, but no, but thanks very much going on the, which show? The Going Banana Show. The Going Banana going Show. Going Banana. It thanks was bananas. Much, let's go to the uh, circus bar. Have yes, a drink. let's yes. go have a drink. Let's go. All right, thank you very much. Andiamo. Andiamo. Applause. Ian yeah. Jenkins, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Elizabeth. Elizabeth van der Meiden. In Europa Park. I mean, wow. wow! What a day, what a day. What a day, what a day. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Perfect. Yes.